Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to what's going to be a new Let's Play and I said when Gods and Kings come out I will be doing a Let's Play of it and I'll run it alongside my current Let's Play of Civilization V which I will finish uh, but yes new game, new, new shiny things want to play. Uh, single player, uh, we'll go to the setup a game, I know I don't normally show this bit on the camera but it's for new things so I want to try it. Uh, leader, we have all these new ones, I'm guessing new ones at the bottom? Nope, they're all nicely mixed in. Brilliant. So, let's see, there's Bodicea and plus one faith per city with adjacent unimproved forest. Bonus, bonus increases to plus two faith with cities with three or more. Oh, so you've got a bonus for not improving tiles there. That's a, a rather strange one, but it's obviously different. Uh, we have Carthage, which I'm really surprised isn't Hannibal, but uh, Dido, uh, all city, oh, coastal, all coastal cities uh, get a free harbour, units may cross mountains after the first great general is earned, nice, oh, so that's to make up for Hannibal then, uh, Genghis Khan obviously on same, oh, Sweden, Gustav Adolphus uh, gains 90 influence with a great person gift to a city-state when declaring friendship, a Sweden, oh, and a great person gift. A 10% boost to great person generation, not really that bothered about Ethiopia. Combat plus 20% when fighting from a civilization with more cities than Ethiopia. A good way to, um, I guess, help them not die. I'd rather, no, 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 Isabella, no. Polynesia, no, you're, you're not new. Austria can spend gold to annex or puppet allied city-states. Actually, that sounds rather interesting. It's not the faith thing, but I guess it's more the king's thing. It's not the gods, it's king. So we're going to play as uh, a lady from Austria. And we're going to play on... It's been said that the AI has had a lot of work up and is now able to deal with... Um, Actually, we want to go to advanced on this anyway. Advanced setup. I can deal with a lot more water, basically. So I'm wondering, if we go to the Apple Ejo map, will we be able to deal with it? Um, I'm only going to go on to a standard size map. Uh, difficulty level. I'm playing on Immortal on my other Let's Play, and I'm doing rather badly, and it's a new game. Uh, so I'm thinking to go back down to... I still will go all the way back down to King, uh, because I'm thinking I probably need sh should be playing Emperor in the other game and not Immortal, and and I screw it, Emperor. Uh, pace, we'll go for an epic one because I like this game to last. I wanted to fully savor the newness to it. So I've changed my mind. We're not going to Apple Lego. Uh, continents plus, but we're going to raise the sea levels. So we're still going to have, um, you know, smaller islands, it's just we'll have probably larger islands, well, less space. I, I'm, I'm not too sure, but I think it'll be interesting. We're obviously going to leave on all the victory types. I'm not going to touch any of these, we're going to leave all the settings there the same. Uh, maybe increase the number of six eight slightly, although that's really in our favour because we can deal with them. They are all selected, so let's start the game. Noble and virtuous Queen Maria Theresa, Holy Roman Empress and Sovereign of Austria, the people bow to your gracious will. Following the death of your father, King Charles VI, you ascended to the throne of Austria during a time of great instability. But the empty coffers and diminished military did little to dissuade your ambitions. Faced with war almost immediately upon your succession to the throne, you managed to fend off your foes and in naming your husband Francis Stephen co-ruler, assured your place as Empress of the Holy Roman Empire. During your reign, you guided Austria on a new path of reform, strengthening the military, replenishing the treasury, and improving the educational system of the kingdom. Oh, great queen, Bold and dignified, the time has come for you to rise and guide the kingdom once again. Can you return your people to the height of prosperity and splendor? 
Will you build a civilization that stands, stands the, the test, test of, of time? time? I really do like that line always from yeah, when it was in the original sieves. Um, it's actually looking quite a nice place. I mean, we've got incense, uh, cotton, another set of cotton. Uh, and I don't want that. This yes, is I a am. good place to found us. Thank you, go away, go away. It's not what I wanted. Resource icons, just for now, so I can see really what's going on. And we are going to found the city. Sorry if I sound like I'm rushing, I just I want to get playing. And I know that I'm going to record the first episode, uh, get it straight up onto YouTube. Sorry, recover the first episode, encode it, get it straight up onto YouTube, then go back playing in the morning. Uh, so I want to get as much done <laughs> before I actually do go to sleep. Uh, Let's see, let's open the tech tree, because this is different now. Because um, I don't really know what's different with it, I'm going to stick to a sort of usual strategy. We're going to beeline for the Great Lighthouse, I know, boring, but I also believe... Which requires calendar, requires calendar. Yeah, it also means we can pick up calendar afterwards, and hopefully by that point we'll have the work area and we can start working them things, so that sounds good. I choose production. Again, I'm not changing from my standard up build a monument because we do want to expand. As for the, oh, we get a warrior to start with, I do want to see what's going on, I mean, we should be a very watery map, but alright, there's some more water there. Excuse me. But don't remind me again, that's the button I need to click, we don't want to see that. Uh, let's go for the next turn. And we don't want you up anymore, go away. Well, all these new cities are found in, so this turn's taking its sweet time. That's fine. Let's come over here. It's a dead end like a foot. I don't know if it's worthwhile going up into this bit here uh, just to get the east line of sight or whether we need to really try and go out and see if we can find these city states. Actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back and march our way up here. There's a forest, so we're not actually going to get there all that quickly. Sorry, looking over at the timer. <laughs> Stayed up to play the game and I'm only going to play 15 minutes of it. How strange. Uh, but next turn. Also, one thing I didn't get is it became available at midnight tonight. Uh, well, depends when you're watching this to be honest, but it became available at midnight and it said in the Steam store, yes, it's all available, blah, blah, blah. Couldn't find it on my Steam account anywhere. And I'm like, no, I want to play, I want to play. So I loaded up a game, I went into the DLC section, it didn't show up. And I'm thinking, what's going on? So I even went back thinking, well, did I forget to buy it? So I went back into the Steam. You need orders. Um, so you can't go here and cross, just cross over the river. They're not going to come and get us, so that's fine. Um, so I've tried to buy it again, and so you can only buy this as a gift because you are the enemy cabinet. unit. You are near. And then I went on the fanatics forums, and somebody was mentioning that they'd had a similar problem, and you just had to restart. One Steve. of your combat yeah. units is near an enemy unit. Yes, I know. Go away. I told you not to do this when I played the game. This is apparently just DLC, not an expansion. So don't say you've deleted all my settings and everything. Uh, but yeah, you have to restart the Steam account to actually get it to show up. No, 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 I, I had a thing saying approximately one hour, and I was waiting for it to tick. Anyone who uh, watches my other Let's Plays will know that I reply, say within a day, usually, to everyone that uh, comments a message. Building up to 12 o'clock, I was probably replying within minutes, uh, because I was sat at my computer wanting to do this, and they're like, well, distraction, distraction, let's... let's Let's read a comment. <laughs> it looks like to the north here we're actually quite safe, so... Ancient, Ancient ruins. ruins. I know what they are. And we'll make a mad dash for them next turn. Oh, it's technically crossing a river. Right, we'll go there and we'll figure out what to do then next turn. Um, but yeah. <laughs> we up, up here it looks safe. I mean, we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. We can expand there at our leisure. So I'm hoping that it means... Then again, maybe not. Maybe they'll come over the water and claim the land. Because uh, just because we found the edge of the land, apparently the AI is a hell of a lot better and is going to be able to mount naval invasions and such and whatnot. Let's get the ruins. Oh, we've got culture. Ah, we've got a policy. We should have next turn anyway. Our capital city. Oh, and we're ready to build again. Oh, you can purchase with piety. Obviously nothing I can do at the minute, so that's fine. Uh, choose for production. 
18 total. Yeah, we'll start work on the worker. Hopefully, <laughs> he's going to be ready well too early. Uh, but hopefully, he'll have something to do. You come over here. Oh, there's wine. It's looking like there might be another nice city location. Uh, say maybe here. If spread out, get the cotton. Annoyingly, it's on the desert. Oh, Dr. Policy. For a minute that I was looking at this, I was thinking it looked like there was more. Uh, I usually expand too much, but I am going to go uh, Liberty still, because I like the adopting this will give me one culture in every city. I just love the fact that the cultural growth, so it's a good one to pick up even if you're not going to go all the way down the tree. And next turn. Oh, come on. So it looks like it also might be another dead end here. Another ancient ruin. Let's see if there'll be a bit of overlap, but from here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's not a bad place, and it probably leaves me room for another city in the north here. Right, let's go next turn. I really need to remember to click back because we might as well be talking while it's loading, not while I'm sitting doing Shall anything. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What makest thou? That'll make us whatever the hell I want you to make. Ooh, what technology did we get? The meek shall inherit the earth, but, but not, not its, its mineral, mineral rights. And some more stones. There's quite a lot of stone around here. Uh, next turn. At least maybe we can get work on some mines up until we get calendar. A calendar might be worth actually switching out for. Uh, look at all the cotton that's around here. Uh, hopefully we can get a monopoly on that, because that's going to be a lot that we could trade away. Or oh, just be mean and... Well, no, I won't be mean and keep it, because then they just beg for it and you, know, you lose opinion with them. That's, that's one thing I don't get. If I say no politely, you know, they, they just outright ask for something for free. You know, why would they be mad? I didn't give them something for free. Now, if they came to me with a reasonable proposition... Oh, somebody's founded a pantheon already. Uh, they chose... The belief, religious settlements, their borders grow 50% faster. Oh, more barbarians, we'll leave them alone for now. And let's get into Tundra, so is that the southern part of our world? I don't think I've played that much on a standard size map actually, so I don't know how big they're supposed to be. I don't really sound like I'm talking quickly. <laughs> um, sorry guys, I guess uh, keeping myself awake until this point when I was up at stupid o'clock in the morning anyway. Probably wasn't the cleverest of ideas, but I wanted to play, and here I am playing. I say, not a lot of stuff around here. So definitely what's looking like, uh, first city, damn. Oh yeah, the new, um, new battle things, obviously it's now up to 100, not just 10. Uh, let's have a run at him. I have some information that may be of use. It's not of use. Go away, please. Yes, we again. Have. Thank you. Go away. Oh, I want to get to them ruins now, but that guy, I think he actually came out better than us. Well, that's not fun. He's running away, actually, so we're going to run and get these ruins. A crudely drawn map. So does that count as us finding that city-state? Or do we still have to go fur? How? You can't found a city directly on something, so that fur is impossible to get to. Unless there's maybe a little bit of island around here. Oh, another policy. Uh, one production in every city plus 5% production when constructing buildings. That's nice. Or citizenship. Uh, workers appear near the capital. We don't need the extra work yet, so we'll take the production. And hopefully when we're ready for our next policy, we can, you know, get the a worker for us and we'll stand on this hill more mine uh, more ancient ruins which we'll go for however as the end of this episode i'm now off to go render this and obviously get it up for you fine people to watch uh, so as always i thank you for watching and goodbye